so let's continue our discussion about jquery now as we understand that jquery is a library primarily not even primarily it's written in javascript so what exactly it does is that it provides us a lot of functionality that we generally require for our web development and effects and other things on our web pages fine few things like ajax and other things ajax code and other things can be reduced by using uh, the jquery library that we are going to see with a simple example now before we proceed let's just have an idea of what exactly is a library let's assume that you have a lot of mathematical functions with you or formulas or other things or you are a programmer and uh, you require a lot of functionality again and again fine in concept of programming we can usually write these pieces of code as a function and reuse them same thing we can do by putting all these pieces of code in an external file and then link it to our required page wherever it is needed so let's have a look at a simple example about jquery or rather this so here i have written a very small library obviously just for demonstration this is javascript library for mathematical formula where i have three functions obviously compared to uh, jquery this is a very very small and very simple thing where i have a i have written three functions where there is an area of square which accepts two parameters uh, this is a cube function which returns the area and volume of cubes here it is just returning the volume and then there is this function for circle which returns the radius and parameter and here it is mentioned how it will be returned fine now whenever i require or anyone who requires these mathematical functions let us say i add hundreds of other mathematical functions into this and make it uh, documented very well and let people use it so this becomes a library commonly available for use i could release it under some open source license or something then i can simply use this library in my page wherever i require so over here fine here you can see this library has been called this is the standard mechanism of calling a library script type text slash javascript though it is not required these days because the script tag by default in html5 uh, it will default to javascript so any script language added will be assumed as javascript until unless you mention the same fine so here what has been done is i have created a form where i have the circle input type circle where i am taking some values for square or cuboid i am taking some values and here i have kept three buttons one is on click get element by id this is plain javascript where i am calling primarily the area square function then on click here for circle i am calling the circle i am sending the value and so on so if we see the output of this page fine over here fine so i have put it on my local machine over here and this is here so now if we change these values let us say if i update this value over here to 6 find the area first value for rectangle cube cuboid so if it is just square you can click here to see the result for square so it tells me the parameter and this thing so for 6 we are getting the output for square or rectangle is this this is what it says yeah so 6 3 is 18 we are getting this cube value then here i can click for circle so it tells me the result for circle and here the third value if i use is i'm getting this so basically the idea is that i have a library which i have used the same library i can use it other one similarly jquery is a library with a lot of functionality that is inbuilt into it which we can use so now let us have a look at why would you want to use jquery so let's come to this and here i have two things one is javascript fade out example and another is jquery fade out example 
Now here, if I run this particular example, let us see what happens. When I click this particular thing, it fades out. Now this fade out functionality has been written with plain JavaScript. And this fade out functionality, right, the button is positioned here and there, but functionality is same. So when I click on this, you will notice this is also fading out, same. So if we look at the code of this, you will notice that the JavaScript code looks complicated and this is fairly very, very simple. So here, let's see, this is the JavaScript fade out code where a function is written in JavaScript, which is hide me, which takes the element name speed and then we set it to seconds, fine. Here, we are picking up the element which is passed as the parameter. Then these are the properties. If you understand what is the document object model, here we are utilizing the CSS properties of transition and we are putting all those values. In simple terms, now not getting into the details of this, this function, here is providing me the fading fa facility where you will notice on the button here i have mentioned button on click hide me uh, document get element by id fade me and this thing so when i click this thing fine i am passing the value to the function hide me over here and the value that is being passed is i am fetching the element which is this i want to hide its id is fade me and i'm set sending this and i'm sending 300 milliseconds as my speed now clicking this first it fades it out and then this second part basically removes this element from the dom now if we look at the same functionality provided by jquery fine the same functionality with jquery is by including jquery over here i have div id fade me fine and here is a button called as click me and this is the script that we need to write this is the only thing that we need to write that's the jquery part here button on click we call a function and we simply say fade out this thing this completely does the same work as what we have written over here fine so with jquery the whole work is done in one single line though you could write it in multiple lines also but noticeable thing is the amount of code that we need to write is very very small and other thing is we are not writing any javascript anywhere inside the buttons like on click or something everything is managed from within this so one way one thing about jquery is that the code that is written is quite clean fine you simply need to write your script and all association to buttons and everything can directly be done by script without needing to write anything within the buttons or something fine so that's the difference but you have to keep in mind that though this code is small we load the whole jquery which is a big file so there is a huge amount of background code associated with this while you use this particular function so that's a basic idea about jquery how jquery can help us and what we can do with jquery one simple example same things which you could do with javascript can be done with jquery in an efficient manner point to understand is jquery is designed for many of the commonly required things during the web development and web ui interface basically whatever interactions and other things that you do that we can do with jquery fine so that makes your work faster and since it is a standardized code it will be much more efficient and better rather than just simply writing your javascript code so in the next session we will discuss further about the same